if you look around today, you see a whole set of institutions that are in various stages of being stalled or in atrophy or even failing, Con contrasted with the contours of a set of sparkling new initiatives that show how this could be done very differently around a new set of principles and around a new communications medium. Take the industrial age corporation, it's typified by General Motors, America's greatest company. It went bankrupt. Yet contrasted to the beginning of a halcyon day, uh, days of entrepreneurship, where young people, in part because of necessity is the mother of invention, but also in part because the internet enables little companies to have all the capabilities of big companies without the main liabilities, bureaucracy, legacy, culture, and so on, everywhere. Young people are, are becoming entrepreneurs, and many of them social entrepreneurs. And there's a new model emerging of the corporation that looks more like a network than a traditional industrial age, vertically integrated command and control hierarchy. For the first time in human history, we control the means of production. Just using the 33% of the brain power, of the knowledge power, of the creative power makes no sense. We have an incredibly inefficient, dare I say, wasteful system of capitalism. We made our factories better by harnessing the knowledge and intelligence of workers. We made our farms productive by harnessing the knowledge and intelligence of farmers. We made our information businesses better in our high-tech industries by harnessing the knowledge and intelligence of that network grouping of people. 66% of people being left behind toiling in low-wage routine services that Roger and I and others in our group wrote about in our report on the future of Ontario. That work can be made better. It must be made better. And every day goes by that we don't address it. And we hear our leaders talk about the need to bring manufacturing back to our shores. That'll take care of about 5% of the unemployment problem. We need to educate people for knowledge jobs. Now we've got up to about 38% of our economy. Uh, with 7 million people in Canada and 66 million people in the United States toiling in the service economy, taking care of our kids, our parents, our grandparents, serving us in restaurants, taking care of our homes, we can't succeed. So what do we need to do? Starting today, each and every one of us has to commit to doing something. Not just looking at this and saying this is a bad thing. We have to do what my, our parents and grandparents did before during the New Deal. They built a new social compact for a new economic age. They did it, Henry Ford did it, and Lincoln Filene did it, great leaders here did it, by lifting up the wages of factory workers. And factory workers who were given decent wages could buy products and create that demand that our dear friend Paul Krugman so wants to see. If we have demand, our economy will grow. We need to stimulate. The best way to stimulate demand is to give people a living wage. A living wage. We have a knowledge infrastructure in the business world that we are attempting to change here that says we will give everybody knowledge about how to deal with problems that are defined within one single knowledge discipline. To go out and solve those marketing problems or those finance problems or those operations problems uh, until they get out into the world and see that there aren't any that uh, are defined that way out in the world. Have we given them the knowledge infrastructure to make those decisions uh, uh, better? Uh, we're trying here, I think, it's, uh, and succeeding here. But it's that kind of knowledge infrastructure that is needed. And I worry, I worry that some of the issues facing our democratic capitalism, as has been uh, referred to, the one that perhaps worries me more than anything else because democratic capitalism actually requires 51% of people to vote for it, uh, is that the 50th percentile person in our country and in uh, the United States south of us is stagnating completely and has been for a long, long time. They're not moving ahead uh, anymore. What infrastructure do we have to think about that problem and to take care of, uh, of that challenge? Um, I guess I'm most optimistic these days about uh, being able to teach kids innovation. Uh, we're doing it uh, and succeeding, and the results are marvelous. And if we can take that and then blow it out across this economy, we can be the first country on the face of the planet that you cannot graduate from high school without being taught how to innovate in a systematic way. And it's now I'm now utterly convinced it's doable. We've been running the pilots, and it's doable. And if if we just uh, go for it, we'll be the first.